أحسن الله إليكم يا مدرسنا Why do we find a big change in the fiqh of ulama after key figures such as Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Hazm, etc. حفظكم الله That's an interesting statement. Um, not sure how true that is. I'd love to see something to back that up. Why specifically starting with Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Hazm? I mean, technically, fiqh is constantly changing in order to respond to the times. As long as that all goes back to the Sahaba, then that's not an issue. There are some modern scholars like Abdullah al-Sa'ad and others that do state that there are slight differences between the mutaqaddimin and the mutaakhirin, meaning the earlier scholars and the later scholars. I'm not sure everyone agrees with that, though they do make a strong case. But if that were to be true, then I doubt that would start at the time of Ibn Taymiyyah or Ibn Hazm, but it would probably start earlier and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.